Hey there, this is Pasta Purple. This is a very dark message because I'm actually sitting in quite a dimly lit room, so I apologise for that, but I have just had the most amazing conversation which has hit me up to something. So, you know, we talk about how much we need exercise and we need to keep fit and basically since the Industrial Revolution we've sat down a lot more and um, that's caused us to need exercise in a completely different way. Well, I was actually thinking that, oh my gosh, check this out. So, in the beginning, uh, when God give, hands out the curses, in quotation marks, he says to man that you will toil, you will work hard, you will, you know, be working hard on the land and it will work against you and this will be hard work. So, because of that, you stay fit and healthy because, of course, you're actually pushing your body to, to continually to, to survive, in effect. Um, and you're not overeating because, of course, you have to dig it up. So you're not really going to overindulge in this stuff. You're not going to, you know, just be greedy about it because you need to eat tomorrow as well. And so you're having a balanced, healthy lifestyle um, for a human um, whose body will die eventually. But you see, the Industrial Revolution and other things have happened and we've sat down a lot more and we've gotten a lot more lazy, so to speak. Um, and, we've, you know, we've, we've become a, a set of people who do that. The more we've done that, the more that we need exercise, of course, because we're not doing what God originally intended us to do, or not originally intended us to do, but once our bodies started failing, what we needed to do to stay healthy. Um, and actually, oh my gosh, isn't that it? So my mind has just been blown at the fact that, like, God really, even in what would be a negative situation, like a curse, gave us something that would keep our bodies, would keep our minds, would keep us healthy, despite the situation and where we've moved away from what we should have been doing sort of manual labor and digging up our own fruits and vegetables and you know now we're pillaging the earth and destroying our world we're getting so many negative effects because we're not doing what we should have done i mean i'm not saying that we shouldn't have the internet and goodness knows i love i love you guys so i wouldn't be able to talk to you without all of the wonderful inventions but doesn't it just make you think a little bit more that we should be returning to some sort of healthier lifestyle that you know the reason we have to exercise so much is because we're not doing any labor um and isn't that interesting and maybe we should all have a garden and should be outside gardening and digging our own fruits and vegetables and and doing those sort of things and if we did that would we then eat healthier because we've we've made it ourselves um, and we're not actually having to, to buy processed foods and, and things that contain so much other stuff that's not good for us. So I'm just kind of blown away by this conversation that, that God has given us so many gifts, even in what we would think is a hopeless situation and a complete negative, you know. God has given us all the things that we need to survive. <gasps> Seriously, I'm like, I want to go and read more and just be so engaged in this and all of this from a simple conversation with a friend i cannot even tell you it was just a simple conversation one simple question well, did exercise exist 2000 years ago that's what the question was you know like did jesus exercise and i was like no he worked he had to go fishing for crying out loud and then because of that i was like oh, can you imagine god gave us exercise inbuilt exercise in labor that would keep us healthy and we're lazy. <sighs> anyway, do you know what? I'm going to sign out and I'm just going to say peace. Peace be unto you. May your labour make you healthy. In Jesus' name, amen.